Columbus, Ohio. Dave Ryan, Dan Seymour there with you. 2-0 the score here in the fourth game. Matthew side trying to rebound. After losing, third game. 11 now. Great point to start. Oh, can't match the backhand, though. He can bring back the forehands, but that backhand from Karakasevich is something else. You can watch the whip action on this. Looking to readjust his grip, and then it's gone. You know when you get to that moment in your life when you realize you're just too old? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's wrong. I'm too good. <laughs> Those two having a lot of fun with each other. There's some playing with the crowd from Karakasevich as well. Karakasevich, that's not really his style, but Matthews kind of baited him into it. But uh, since he's leading, he doesn't seem to mind. 3-1. 3-1 game, four score. What the angle there. Just clipped by Karakasevich. There's that backhand. Best in the world. And it's another winner for Karakasevich. And Matthew can't believe it. He brought three of these back. Watch the wrist action in this backhand. It, you cannot tell the direction. Which way is he going to go? This one goes to the backhand. Is he going to turn with the forehand? No, one more time. Down the line. So you can just see that there's right. just a small little window to tell the direction. There's nobody in the world who can do that except for him. At least I'm better looking. He claims he's better looking anyway. <laughs> I'm Biba and I play for Killer Spin. I will not be intimidated by him. A lot of guys think that they can beat me, but I'm going to show them. <laughs> That's not so easy. Well, Biba claims Dan C. Miller, she will not be intimidated by Lupulescu. First, she's got to take on Bolo. That's Ron Joseph, a bodybuilder, who is a pretty good table tennis player in his own right. And that's one thing in table tennis, you need to have a lot of flexibility, and uh, that's hard for Bolo, but he surely has a beautiful forehand topspin loop there. He drives Bebo away from the table, showing some definite skills here. Very unusual matchup here between the, the weightlifter and the, the beautiful woman. Bolo trying to stay in the match. It's not easy against a world-class player like Biba. Topspin drives by Biba, one of her favorite shots. Pond in that forehand with topspin on it. Bolo with a cut from way back from the table. Pretty good point for Bolo, not bad. There's that forehand, but a little bit soft that time. So Bolo comes up short against Biba, no surprise there, but an exciting exhibition match to watch. We go back to one of Biba's big matches against Mikhail Steph, the left-hander from Yugoslavia, and look who her escort was in Chicago at the Spin Invitational, none other than Bolo. Steph seems very patient. Got that sort of calm demeanor. Might be tough to crack. Well, she's very experienced. She has really long arms. She's able to cover the court well. She doesn't have to run around. She has great touch. She can block almost anything. And then when you're not sure, she's going to step in with that big forehand drive. An advantage of being left-handed as well for him? Yeah, being lefty is definitely an advantage. There's no question about it. Chop return again for Biba. Return of serve. Set herself up. Utter spin to utter spin. But sailed long again. Good long rally here. Backhand topspin by Biba. Another backhand topspin. She has control of the point, but the counterattack by Steph takes over the rally. Cap of at the Spin Invitational against Mikaela Steph. She'll take on another left-hander. This time it's Ilya Lupulescu. Who will come out on top this time? We'll find out. Can the defensive style prevail over Mark Kaczynski and his powerful drive loop shots like that? When you're watching this match, David, you, you would think that Mark would be winning because he's in control of seeming, seeming like every rally. Let's check the speed here. Now, the first 3.5 feet of trajectory, 33 milliseconds, equals 72 miles an hour. That's an incredible graphic from our crew to show how fast this game really is. My name is Lupi, and I play for Killer Spin. Yeah, I sometimes feel when I watch Lupulescu play that it's almost like watching poetry in motion. America, I love you, but I can beat you with the shoe. Let's take a look at a Game 4 recap of this thriller 
between the two lefties. Well, this has been a really even match, exciting points. Luke be a little bit more aggressive in game four, which he needs to be. Every point seems like a war. Players all over the court. This is what I would call a topspin war. You start with the underspin, and then once they get going on topspin, it's spin, spin, all the way to the end. Lupulescu just a little bit more aggressive. And Kara goes over the barriers. Wow, knocks down the barriers, and the fans absolutely love the effort from Kara Kosovic. Incredible. Quick pace on that serve. Sets the point up, trying to take the aggressive mode. But when you have a backhand like that, it's tough to beat. Right off the bounce. Unbelievable. And there's another he's going in with the backhand against Loopy, but Loopy's like a wall. He'll bring it back. And Kara misses the backhand.